Oh, hello there, and welcome to another video. Well, the long wait's finally over, and Windows Server 2019's here. And at first glance, it does remind me a lot of Windows Server 2016, but that's just a visual part of things, because under the hood, there's a lot of new stuff going on. And let's start by showing you Windows Admin Center, which in my opinion is one of the coolest new features. So let's take a look at it. It's not like it's a new thing, because, you know, uh, web panels for server administration are not quite a new thing, but Microsoft did it right, and I don't know, I just want to show you, because they nailed it. Use another account. So we type in the password, we use these credentials for all connections, and... Uh, Let's not save. Let's see how fast it lets us in. Wow, that was pretty quick. Impressively quick. So as you can see, you have a lot of freedom over the management. As you can see. So you can see a server version, the RAM you got, CPU. And then you can see your CPU load, memory load, connection load. You can like monitor the traffic from remotely which is quite cool I mean it's a very handy feature you can see your CPUs your cores your disk space you know the free space you got the total space real-time protection Windows Defender all stuff as you can see it's a VM of course I don't have a server myself so here's I mean I do but it's Linux I can't <laughs> I can't afford Windows Server sadly I would. If I had the money, I would definitely have a Windows Server for myself, but I don't have the money, so, you know. So here's cert certificates page, pages. Um, anyway, so we have 68, 11 expired, 5 ne nearly expired. That's fine. Devices, where you can see all the things connected to the server itself. We have a bunch of batteries, computer, disk drives. We got seven disk drives. Yeah. Fancy, right? Okay, so, yeah. Events. Files. Firewall. Apps. As you can see, you have control over everything. Even RDP, if you wish. Oh my god. Can I control it through the browser? Wow, that would be cool. Like... I don't think it would work though, because I'm inside the server right now using RDP, so it doesn't make sense. I mean, if it does, it does, but it's a little weird. Anyway, here is storage, where we can take a look at our disks and volumes and file shares. Those were not initialized. You can in initialize them from here, which is kind of cool, so you don't have to go on the server manager to do that. That's very handy. As I, as I mentioned before, it's a very cool feature and I I was very hyped when I when I saw it for the first time. I was like, oh yeah, finally. I mean, Microsoft, for God's sake, you guys took so long to come up with something like that. It's very good. Like, it's impressively good, as you can see. So you have system insights, updates, everything. I find it very cool and slow. <laughs> it's somewhat slow, but I think that's just uh, browser issues because, you know, they probably behave better on Edge, probably only on Edge. <laughs> you know how Microsoft is when it comes to that, but then again, that's just a minor thing. So here's the settings. You can you know, change a bunch of things if you wish. Let's go back up here again. And uh, Windows is computer management. Let's take a look at this tab. You can add more computer connections. That's, that's pretty decent. Uh, okay, so right clicking doesn't work. You click, it connects. There is the overview. Back again. It's eating all my RAM, as you can see. And we're just running Firefox and Server Manager, which is a little bit of concern. Take a look at that. Oh my god. So yeah, seems like Windows Admin Center is a little more demanding than I thought. 
as you can see. But it's like they say, uh, you use RAM as, you know, wasted RAM, so you better use the RAM, but damn, it's very demanding. Kind of concerning, I mean, if you have a, a basic rig and you want to install Windows Server on it, you know, you know it's going to struggle a little, and if it's using 3 gigs, it means that under 2 gigs won't be enough for Windows Admin Center and all the fancy stuff. So that's a little bit of a problem, but then again, I don't think no one would buy a Windows Server license for just that much RAM, you know? Usually you would get that a Windows Data Center license for, you know, a proper data center with more than 128 gigs of RAM, but if somehow you got money to spare and you have <laughs> just 4 gigs of RAM, well, you better forget it because it won't work nicely. The system's very demanding, but um, I don't know, maybe it's just a bug, maybe Windows Update running on background. Shh, I shall take a look on that later on. Other than that, it's a pretty cool feature. I think that's pretty much the highlight of Windows Server 2019. One of the dopest new things that they added, aside from, you know, uh, a few PowerShell uh, changes, stuff like that, but on the management side of things, that's it. That's the thing that shines and it's really cool. So I think that's it for today, my dudes. It was a very quick video. Just showing a little bit of what's new with Windows Server 2019. I'm gonna make some videos later on, teaching you how to uh, do a few things, install a few uh, services and, you know, DHCP, basic stuff like that, as usual, as I did with Windows Server 2012 and I forgot to do with 2016 because I was too busy with life and I kind of gave up on YouTube, but now I'm kind of back, so expect a lot of videos on that uh, matter. So yeah, thank you guys a lot for watching, for stopping by, I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any questions, don't be shy, comment sections down below. I'll be more than glad to help you. So thank you so much and adios.